let's press the automatic takeoff, slide it, and the drone will go up. What I'm going to show you next is if we aren't precise at the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 9 o'clock. If we're slightly off, let's look at the left stick first, and I go at 11 o'clock. As the drone rises, it turns because we're combining the two movements. If I come back down at, say, 5 o'clock, it turns as well. You need to be precise at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and not combine the two. Because if you're slightly off, if, the, if it's tilted this way or you're not dead square, that's what happens. Look at the same thing with the right stick this time. If I push it forward to 12 o'clock, it goes straight forward. If I pull it back to 6 o'clock, it comes straight back. If I push it forward to, say, 11 o'clock, you've got forward momentum, but you've also got moving to, slightly to the left. If I pull it back the same way, it comes back across. So you've got to keep these pre be precise at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. That's why I keep talking about this precision. What we're going to do now is look at the circles again. And we need to, to do the circles, you need momentum. And you can tighten the circle by pushing to the left or right harder, or you can loosen the circle off. Let's nudge the drone, or roll the drone to the left first, and we're going to do a circle to the right. So I'm going to fly forward with the, with the right stick at 12 o'clock, and then I'm going to introduce this turn. And if I want to turn a, a loose circle, a larger circle, I've got this. If I pull harder now, I can tighten the circle down. I can keep the circle really tight. And I can make it a very small circle. I can let it out and do a wider circle. You really need to practice those circles and tighten the circle and loosen the circle. This time, I'm going to fly the drone forward. I'm going to turn the drone 180 degrees. And I'm going to bring it over to the right. I think the uh, air conditioning is playing up again. And we're going to fly the drone forward, this time with the right stick here and I'm going to turn to the left. We're going to do a circle to the left. Right, if we tighten the circle down, really tighten it tighter, you can see in a very confined of this small room, you can practice your circles. Keep practicing the circles. It's being infected by the aircon again, so let's push it forward. And then, the next thing we're going to try once you feel comfortable flying the circles in two directions, is a figure of eight. And the figure of eight, you need to do a cross in the middle. If I'm going to pull it across, we're not going to fly forward using the right stick at 12 o'clock in a across the room. Going this way first, and then as we're going across with a little bit of momentum, we're going to turn, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning to about 80% to about there, then go across forward, and then go back the other way. And across forward, and then back the other way. So around about that point, forward. And as you feel more confident, you can increase your speed and increase your Turns. Make a small figure of eight. And just get into the feeling of going both directions on the figure of eight. I'm going to pull it across here again. Try again, so let's say you're pushing this right stick forward at a steady pace, coming round to the right, and pushing forward, and coming round to the left. Practice your figure of eights, and that falls well within the circles. The next and final exercise we are going to try is the turning and flying the other way. So now the camera is facing towards us, I'm now going to pull the right stick to 6 o'clock 
and take it back. And I'm going to use the left stick to turn into that cul-de-sac like that. I'm going to fly forward with the right stick and I'm going to come back the other way. What that should show you, it's a little bit difficult to understand, but the drone is facing towards us, so it's the opposite way around. All you've got to think about is pushing this towards you at six o'clock. That takes the drone backwards or forwards in this particular case. And then when you pull the left stick to the left or the right, if you want to turn left, you turn, you pull the left stick to the left. Okay, so let's pull that and pull the left stick to the left. And then we've got that, fly forward and push it to the right. That's called inverted flying, but it's the opposite way around. But if you're looking at this, you still move the left stick in the direction that you want to go, either left or right. If I pull the right stick down here now, the drone will go backwards. But if I go to the left, it turns to the left and will let it come out. If I fly forward with the right stick now and I pull it back, I go the opposite way. We'll pull, we'll pull it over this way a touch now. I'm now going to pull this towards us to six, the right stick to six o'clock, and I'm going to come over here now and back it into that cul de sac. I'm going to fly forward and come back the other way. You need to practice these all of the time. Practice them, practice the turns, practice reversing in and out in both directions. I'm now going to land the drone, push it forward. Always land the drone with the camera facing away from you. So let's pull that down to the face and let's land the drone. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.